Hey, it's Mel. So um, I'm back for part two. Well, it's kind of a second part, I guess, to a post that I did yesterday regarding showing you how to create video using PowerPoint 2010. At the end of that video, what we ended up with was a WMV file, Windows Media Video File, which is perfectly fine if you're going to upload the video to YouTube because YouTube does its own compression and then it does its own formatting and so on. So it pumps it out at a format, a final format that is perfectly acceptable for most people in the world that is going to watch video over the internet. The problem becomes when you want to take that WMV and maybe you don't want to put it on YouTube for different reasons. It could be that maybe you're creating a proprietary series of courses that you want to maybe charge for or you want to put it behind your membership firewall and you just want to post it there and you want to host it yourself because it's a course you know that you're creating based off of knowledge that you've accumulated over decades right so but that's a challenge is at the end WMV is not really a file format that is readily accepts, accessible for most people in the world so the trick is to make it web ready you need to take that WMV file format and convert it to another file format and I typically use MP4 file formats so here I've got uh, my Windows platform up and running here what I want to do is show you the website where you can get this application it's actually called it's called handbrake and it's free okay so all you actually need to do is just click the download button and you see there are versions here for Macintosh and also for Windows so you would just click download for the Windows side I'm not going to go through the whole installation process I'll assume you can do that yourself so when you click it you open that guy up and the interface looks like this there are probably seven or eight steps that I want to show you in terms of settings that you want to make and then once you make these settings you can actually set a preset so you can just click this preset and it'll automatically select all those settings for you for future video conversions so all you need to do here is uh, step one just go up to the tools and options menu and then make sure this selection here says always use iPod iTunes friendly M4B make sure that's deselected it'll come selected when it comes out of the box just deselect that just so you know it doesn't change your ability to be able to publish this to iPads or iPhones or anything like that by deselecting that it doesn't change that at all you just want to deselect that because what we're shooting for is to make sure that our video ends up as an mp4 file format okay once you've got that click close step two what I want you to do is then go up to the source uh, and then this is where you will select the video and remember last week we created this WMV file format or last week I said last post we created this WMV this is the file we want to convert so you just navigate to whatever folder you have on your desktop select that and click open all right so then now everything becomes active right it now looks a little bit busy there's a lot of selections here don't let that intimidate you just follow exactly what I tell you uh, these are the settings that you'll need to make then the output settings make sure that under here under container it says mp4 file format that's what we're shooting for make sure web optimize is selected over here then the next thing what you want to do is underneath leave this alone uh, video filters leave that alone we'll go to video want to make sure h264 is selected here leave this as leave the frame rate alone and then over here on bitrate make that to be say 600 is what you want to set there for if you're recording like uh, your PowerPoint videos uh, make it 600 six to seven hundred maybe seven hundred if you want a higher quality and then if you have later on if you've in, included any live action video kind of like what I do with these with my live action videos here if you've got any of that kind of stuff in your videos then maybe you want to bump this up to somewhere around eight hundred to a thousand perhaps okay but you'll have to play around with these settings but six hundred is a good starting point if all you're doing is just converting just a regular WMV file format that has only your PowerPoint presentation video in it okay so that's what we're gonna have there we'll select two pass encoding over here then the other place I want you to do, go is audio under audio we'll select under bitrate choose 128 and then the last place is under advanced just make sure that this thing that says reference frames make sure that that says number four okay that's basically it so you've got all of those all of these other things you can leave alone those are the steps and I will put the list underneath this video as well so you'll have a quick sheet uh, kind of that you can you know you can access um, once you're done with all of that just push the start button so let's go ahead and let that run and I'll meet you when this whole thing is done here okay I'm back so it says encoding is finished you're all done basically all you got to do now is open up where we said it was going to be and we said right here under the destination it was going to be on my desktop and that's the file name sample powerpoint 
dash one mp4 so we'll just look for that on our desktop here and there's our file let's go ahead and open that guy up and there you go so you're done with the mp4 file and what you can do with that now is you can take that mp4 file format and you can upload that to your self-hosted website or some other hosting site where you can host this yourself okay uh, but basically this would be for videos where you don't want to host it on YouTube because again it's proprietary you want to charge for it or somehow it's special for certain members of your visitors okay that's about it for now this is Mel I will talk to you later take care